Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, came home from work right now, and man, it looks like Deontay Wilder might end up getting a friggin' banging ass deal from the zone man and i guess they had their meeting sometime yesterday or something like that and this is coming out in worldboxingnews.net where it states deontay wilder offered 50 million for the zone double deal before anthony joshua fight so that means not even including anthony joshua these dudes are willing to offer deontay wilder 50 million dollars for two fights before he ends up fighting anthony joshua and like i said this is coming in out in worldboxingnews.net Net where it states World Boxing News has learned the zone have put a massive $50 million deal on the table for Deontay Wilder in a two fight offering. Talks between both parties were set for this week, with the zone hell bent on securing the services of the WBC heavyweight champion. The end game will be a huge undisputed unification with Anthony Joshua over two fights in 2020. On the back of Eddie Hearn confirming the zone will act as middlemen in a huge top division collision, WBC and now understands Wilder is wanted this year for two bouts initially. Wilder will effectively receive $25 million per fight, and on the condition the Bronze Bomber wins both outings, will then be pitched in with Joshua next year. A further improved contract is to be fully discussed separately regarding the Joshua double. The zone wants to avoid a delay in getting Wilder on the books. This is in order to assure fans the biggest battle in world boxing will eventually happen. Speaking to Sky Sports on Tuesday evening, Hearn explained his role will be minimal. He and Wilder's co-manager Shelly Finkel just don't see eye to eye. There's an opportunity for someone to be, if you like, a mediator to try and get it done, said Hearn. Clearly, the relationship between Team Wilder and Team Joshua isn't the best. I think this is a route... That is going to be very beneficial to making that undisputed fight. I think any input from me would be a negative one in terms of trying to move things forward because of the relationship. So I'll leave it in the hands of the broadcasters the zone to try and effectively be a mediator. It also goes on to state. It's not just about doing a deal with Wilder. It's about doing a deal with Joshua for the fight. They've got their work cut out, but the pieces are coming together. There's a long way to go, a long way to go. We'll see where it goes, but there is now a strategy in place and a route in place that could lead us to an undisputed fight, he added. Opponents for Wilder's two-fight agreement will include Dominic Brazil, dependent on an agreement with Al Heyman, Dillian White, Vladimir Klitschko, and Alexander Usyk. Quote. Now, with this news coming out on worldboxingnews.net, dude, that is a friggin' banging ass friggin deal right there for friggin Deontay Wilder to get a friggin two fight deal 50 million dollars that means he's going to be getting 25 million dollars per fight man and I already know that Showtime is not going to be able to offer him that much money just for the simple fact is when Eddie Hearn had came out with that friggin 15 million dollar deal and Deontay Wilder brought that figure back to Showtime Showtime was trying to put that Dominic Brazil fight on a friggin pay-per-view and all of us knew that fight wasn't pay-per-view worthy and it was kind of bogus on Showtime's behalf not to invest money into a dude like Deontay Wilder, especially when he has been providing them his services for his entire fight career. And now with the zone coming into the picture, willing to offer him this deal. And like I said, this deal isn't even including Anthony Joshua, because with this deal, if he beats these next two fighters with this deal, that means the Anthony Joshua deal is going to be even bigger than this. And the dude that I know is probably feeling like an ass right now is a dude like Ty Tyson Fury, who is talking all this crap about a dude like Deontay Wilder talking about, oh, I'm the A side now. I'm getting all this money. Whoop de whoop de woo. When Bob Arum had freaking came out publicly stating that he wasn't even getting that amount of money. And I'm thinking that amount of money was going to be the case if he was able to get that Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua fight. And now it seems like Tyson Fury is going to be over there on ESPN fighting dudes like friggin' Oscar Rivas and Bryant Jennings and whoever else they want to friggin' throw him up in there with. But he's pretty much going to have to wait his turn if Deontay Wilder ends up taking this deal. Because if Deontay Wilder takes this deal, which I really think he should, then, dude, he's definitely going to be getting a lot of money with this deal. $50 million for his next two fights on the zone. Plus, it's going to be a big-ass deal the way that it sounds when he gets this fight with Anthony Joshua.
Now, the only thing regarding this, the only thing that I can really see Deontay Wilder doing, since I already know that Showtime isn't going to be able to bring him that amount of money, maybe he might try to bring that figure to Fox, and if Fox isn't trying to match that deal or give him more, then I definitely do see him going over there to the zone to be able to get that bag, because he's going to be fighting Dominic Brazil anyway, so if Fox isn't trying to give him a $25 million deal to fight Dominic Brazil, then dude, I definitely see him going over to the zone, getting $25 million dollars to fight Brazil and then it's talking about them either fighting Dillian White, Vladimir Klitschko or Alexander Usyk. Dude, any one of those fights would be really good fights that I would love to see Deontay Wilder fight especially with him getting the type of money that they are offering him. And then with those two fights out of the way, with him getting a mega fight with a dude like Anthony Joshua, dude, he is definitely going to be getting a big ass bag with this right here. So hopefully in the next few days or in the next week, we will be finding out what exactly Deontay Water is going to do. Is he going to take this deal? Which I really think he is probably going to because... They are offering him the most money that is on the table right now. And like I said, if Fox does not offer him any more money than this, then I can definitely see him leaving Fox and friggin' Showtime, going over to the zone, getting the money that he deserves, and being able to get the fights that I know that he is looking for, all right, you guys? So, I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section, and I'll be sure to hit you guys up, all right? So, I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.